Listen very carefully because I'm going to show you how to get to the read aloud version of your checkpoint test. First, you need to go to Google Classroom. You can do this by opening a new tab, clicking the nine dots in the corner, and then clicking on the chalkboard that says Classroom. This should bring you to all of your classes. You're going to find your reading class. So let's say I'm in Lincoln. I'm gonna click fifth reading Lincoln. Just like every day we do in class, you're going up to the top and clicking on classwork. At the very top of your screen under module one, you will see an assignment called read aloud checkpoint one. You're going to click that. There are instructions right here. It says, open this and click the purple puzzle piece to start the read aloud. We're going to do exactly that. We're clicking on this Google Doc that says read aloud. It will bring you to your checkpoint. This is exactly what your test looks like on Illuminate, but now this will read it aloud to you. You'll see the passage and all of your questions. Now my screen has this fancy toolbar, yours will not have that. In order to get my fancy toolbar, you are going to click this purple puzzle piece up in the corner, right next to your clever button. Click the purple puzzle piece and your toolbar will pop up. If it doesn't pop up, you might get a screen that says allow and you are going to click allow. This will let your computer use all of these buttons. Once you get the toolbar up, you will only use a couple of the buttons. The first thing you're gonna to wanna to read is your directions. So you're gonna click where your directions start and push play. Read by S article. Then an SW work at When the words are highlighted, they are also being read aloud. I don't think you can hear them on the video, but I can hear them on my computer. You can press pause when you want it to stop. Maybe you'll press pause when you want to make an annotation on your paper. And then you'll push pause again, and it will keep going. Clara Barton founded the American Red Cross. You can follow along with which word is being highlighted. Now. If you want to go back and read something, you're gonna to have to push this stop button, the square. Then you can select that you want to go back and push play again. Read by S article. Then an SW work at you. I'm pushing stop. Now let's pretend we've finished reading the whole passage and we've annotated. Now I wanna know what this box says. I'm going to click on it. I'm going to use the same buttons that I used before. Now I want to click on my questions. I'm going to click where I want it to start and it will read the question for me once I hit play. How do paragraphs one through four support the more alternative nine goals? And you can use the pause button and the stop buttons to make sure that the reader stops when you need them to. That is how you'll use Google Read and Write. You can make a split screen with your assessment on one side and your Google Read and Write on the other side if you would like to. That way you can look at the questions on the Google Read and Write and on the left side, once you click Take Assessment, you'll be able to see the questions on the other side. If you have any questions, make sure you're putting them in the chat to a teacher and we will help you.